Hey friends, welcome back to the house for another drink with us. This one is another YouTube first, but it's also a completely different first for us because we're actually going to be introducing something a little bit different to the spirit review from what we normally do. And we have to really say thanks to our great YouTube channel friend Alex Coquito for this little switch in our <laughs> normal routine. Uh, Alex has been following along on our channel for a very long time and we've shared some samples of things that we particularly wanted him to enjoy in our own way. So in kind, he actually sent us some really cool treats or snacks from his homeland Yes, <laughs> in Puerto Rico. So we are going to be trying some of these. These are the Sabor Carabino. So is that the taste, taste of the Caribbean? Taste of the Caribbean. <laughs> and they have a variety of different flavors in this snack pack. And Alex said it's best to try these with cheeses of our choice and a spirit of our choice. So we figured, hey, why not we just pair it in our next review and see how it turns out. Uh, and before we jump into all of this, we definitely want to say this is probably, not probably. It is. It is the absolute best part of having the channel on YouTube and that is the people that we end up meeting, the friendships and the bonds that we build across land, across the big <laughs> ponds, you name it, all over the world. And uh, it, it is fantastic. And Alex, you are definitely one of those special friends of ours. We cannot thank you enough. Enjoy all of your episodes. And if you want to check out everything about Puerto Rico, definitely advise you and suggest you check out his channel. His link is going to be in the description of this video. So I'm excited to see kind of where this goes because <laughs> we've never paired any it's, foods with this stuff. Yes. I mean, I mean, we have just not on the channel. Yeah, not so on the channel, of course. Fun first. In our own little private life of drinking and <laughs> sipping and munching on things. Yeah. So excited about this. So before we get into Ooh. all of that, kind of let's first introduce the Spirit, which is Midway Distilling Company, So Turns Cask Finish Rye Whiskey. And if you've been a normal viewer, friend of the channel for a while, you know Rise. This is this is Dana's world. You know, he keeps pinning Rye on me, but it's <laughs> not my first choice. <laughs> no, but between the two of us, you enjoy Rye more than I do. Yeah, this is true. I can appreciate some of the more complexity of flavors that Rye has to offer. Yeah. And we've jumped all around the globe with our last reviews and this one we're bringing back home to Kentucky. So what about this one that makes it a good choice for today? Well, the Sauternes is a sweet peach white wine. It hails from the motherland of wine, France. So if you're Italian, you probably just took offense to that. I apologize. <laughs> we know bourbon. So when you take bourbon and, and rye whiskeys, whiskeys in general, and you mature them in wine casks, it brings out a lot more of the sweetness. So this cask finished rye whiskey is finished and so turns sweet wine casks. It's known for its lush honeyed flavor said to be a match made in heaven mm. when paired, when used to age the whiskeys. So this whiskey is all the way up there. It's a 55% alcohol by volume, making it a solid 110 proof. Woo! <laughs> this one should bring the heat, or at least a very strong hug. <sighs> yes. Maybe, 
Hmm. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Quite possibly. I mean, it's up there, and others that we've had that up there has been a little harsh. Yep. So definitely interesting to this one. Let's ready for the pour. the pour. Yeah. Now we did go ahead and open this up in advance just to save a little bit of time. And another cool little thing that this comes with is a coin that they call a spinner. And it's a double-sided coin. Very cool. Gotta go a little bit heavier on our pours this time around. Simply because we have snacks. Yeah. So you uh... Let's move the table around a little bit. Cheese board. Okay. All right. So what cheeses are we pairing this with? You want the fuller one or the lesser one? Mm, the fuller, please. <laughs> Rough day. Indeed. All right, so what cheeses do we have? We have some standard wed. Wed? Wed? wed. We have wed wax. <laughs> we have <laughs> wed wax cheese. Okay. It's wedded. <laughs> Red wax gouda cheese. We have some uh, farmer's cheese. And one of my favorites, just a nice aged manchego. Okay. All right. And I'm a very basic person with cheeses, so this is kind of outside my norm. The snacks that we have, we have a guava. Sesame seed. And a coconut. So excited to see how these pair up. Uh, it, <laughs> we see you already stealing the guava. <laughs> uh, these are... I would say chewy. Uh, the sesame seed is a little bit harder, like a like a hard granola bar. And the guava feels kind of like a, a jelly, like a jelly, like a gummy, jelly, like a gummy, like yeah, a gummy. like a gummy. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you will open these up, uh, then I'll start to tell everybody about the spirit. Try not to make too much noise. Too much noise? Yeah. Quiet it down over there. So Midway, Kentucky is actually in Woodford County, Kentucky. Now, if you're a bourbon fan, I'm sure that you recognize just the county name of Woodford by itself. So we won't even talk about what comes from there, but it's an incredibly popular, popular brand of bourbon there. Now, the city of Midway was founded after Colonel John Francisco sold his 216-acre farm to Elano Railroad Company in 1835. So good bit back there. Now, the original distillery uh, was actually in a district. As many towns were back then, you had a number of different distilleries. It just wasn't one there. And they had them all kind of grouped together in what they called a district. Now, that district was in place from 1865 to 1877. Now the original Midway Distilling Company operated from 1916 to 1920. Now production was suspended by the Food and Fuel Control Act. So what took place then is their barrels were then used to bottle medicinal spirits. So Kind of put those in you mean quotes. Medicinal. Yeah. Medicinal yeah. spirits. <laughs> <laughs> and that took place until 1924 when the distillery and all of its inventory was destroyed by fire. No. Yes. So we've heard this before in rack houses going up in flames and everything but a few bottles here and there just completely wiped out. Now, fast forward to 2021, and that's when Bluegrass Distillers kind of came in, and they reclaimed the name as a line of their barrel-aged rye. So, 
Midway actually sells, you know, five, well, right now, they have five different choices of whiskeys, each one being slightly different. So with this being the so turns, it should be kind of sweet. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping we'll pick up on that so turns wine flavor. So. Yeah. So that's, so clearly I am a sweeter <laughs> kind of guy. Yes. Some of us are just naturally sweet. Yes. Yeah, I don't mean to brag, but it is that way. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got a nice sweet smell to it. It does. Uh, there's not, uh, I would say, not much burn on the nose as you would expect from 110 proof. <laughs> not too much burn, not too really like heavy on the whiskey. It definitely yeah. has a lighter flavor of nose to it. It's nice. Whoa, yep. whoa, slow the roll there a little bit. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. This is definitely a rye, in my expert opinion. <laughs> yeah, in my non-expert opinion, I would agree with that. <laughs> and uh, the hug is actually a lot less than what you would think. Yeah. It's, it's, it's got a nice flavor to it, nice balanced flavor. A nice balanced flavor. You, I pick up on, I describe rye as like peppery on my palate. It definitely like just hits my palate in a very specific way that other grains just don't. What I pick up on is, you know, that pepper punch right in the front and then just fading into sweetness. Yeah, uh, I don't really get much of the honey flavor there, but maybe it's just there to help balance it out and it's not so pronounced. <laughs> but it is surprisingly nice. You get a good little hug, you feel it warming up the insides just as we want. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty damn good for a rye. <laughs> so now let's try it out with some cheese and with Alex's snacks here. Uh, I'm gonna do a coconut. I jumped into the Gouda. You just jumped right into the cheese. <laughs> I'm gonna do a coconut and some farmer's cheese and see how, actually, I wanna do a bite of just the snack by itself first. Oop. As I'm making a mess over here. If you make a mess, you clean the mess. Mm, yeah. That's why the house is a mess, because the dogs don't clean the mess. That's like a Mounds bar coconut. Mm. Just without the chocolate and the almonds. I think it's a little less sweet than a Mounds, which I prefer. It's very light. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, now with the cheese. Do we need to get you a bib? Something to catch your best on there? <laughs> okay. Without trying to uh, talk and not have my mouth full. <laughs> that is freaking delicious. Mm. That is really, really good. I love that coconut. It's not... It's not dry like you would think it is. It's nice and moist. <laughs> I'll probably catch some hate just using the word itself. If we lose any viewers because you said that word. <laughs> Always keeping it real. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have next? And good choice on actually eating these with a spirit because it's good <laughs> to kind of wash mm -hmm. it down. All right, I'm going to do the guava and I'm going to do... What is this cheese over here? Manchigo. 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 Okay. First, the snack by itself. Oh, man. It's almost like I want to just kind of rub this on some toast. <laughs> that is, the guava is delicious. It definitely reminds me of the Palmolito guava jelly that I cannot find in Ohio. Please send. Palmolito <laughs> guava jelly. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, that is delicious with cheese. 
It's delicious by itself. It is, it is. But damn, the cheese gives it a different flavor altogether. Does it? Oh, that is really good. So outside of the Sauternes, you mm -hmm. said we had five mm -hmm. that Bluegrass or Midway does. Midway does, yep. So what are our other four? The other four would be Lot 25, which is finished in vermouth barrels. That's an interesting twist. Well, I have to beg the question, is it sweet vermouth or dry vermouth? Dry. Mm. Because sweet vermouth, you know what's in a Manhattan? <laughs> yes. Do you? Do you know what's in a Manhattan? Dry. Sweet vermouth and rye whiskey. Oh, see, <laughs> clearly I don't drink that cocktail. So, what else? Mm. We've got Lot 25. Lot 25. We have the one that we're drinking, which is Dudley and Gratz, which is named for the uh, streets in Midway, where the distillery district was moved back to in the 1800s. Okay. We also have Lee's Branch, which is a toasted French oak barrel finished whiskey. That would be nice. Mm. We've had uh, some other spirits that utilize that French oak. Yes, yep. we have. Yep. And then they also have Reclaimed and Recharred, which is a recharred oak barrel finished whiskey. So reclaimed and recharred it's just another way that they are reducing a lot of the footprint in the whiskey industry a lot of these places will use the barrel once and it has to get sold or traded to a brewery a coffee maker an apiary a winery yeah and they just recharm and mm -hmm. reuse them yep for whiskey which is perfectly allowed as long as you're not making bourbon yeah and then they also have the Colonel Francisco. Mm. What's so special about this one? <laughs> Aside from sharing the name with, you know, one of the flagship folks there in yeah, the county. Yeah, that found it, yeah. It is finished in rum barrels. That is the one that I want to try. <laughs> We've got to find the rest of these and see how they are. All right, so last one is the sesame. Sesu? Sesame. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. And nutty. Yeah, definitely. I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's got almost like a, like a smoky flavor to it. Mmm. Almost like a roasted peanuts, mm, yes. roasted sesame seeds. Yeah, like a roasted sunflower seed. Well, it's almost. got the color of toasted sesame, so. Yeah. Mm, that is good. And that pairs really well with our spirit, to be it honest. It does, yeah. The lesser of the sweet from the other variety that we have. Mm-hmm. That was a good gulp there. <laughs> <Ooh>. <clears throat> okay. You gonna live? Not forever, but for <laughs> now, yes. All right. More of the cheese and the snack. Mm. That's a good mix. Salty. Sweet, mm -hmm. nutty, toasty, toasted. The cheese really mellows it out. It really does. Yeah. It cuts back on some of the um, harshness of the sesame seed. A lot of people hate sesame seeds because they tend to be a little bit bitter. But that cheese really smooths it out. Mm. Okay. Mm. Well, I think I have a verdict. What's your favorite? <laughs> I had 
verdict. I didn't say I had, didn't have to specify <laughs> favorites. We're gonna have to make a trip to Jungle Gems. See if we can find more See if more we can find some more. <laughs> yeah, I think so. These are, uh, I would say, definitely nice snacks when you're sipping on a good mellow spirit. Get yourself a little charcuterie plate, maybe some fresh fruit and nuts, some more of these snacks. Yeah. Your favorite spirit. Get some good friends together. So thank you once again, Alex, for sending us something from your home. We absolutely appreciate that. Anytime that we get something from any of our viewers, whether it's spirits from your particular state or it's snack like this, uh, it is incredibly meaningful for us and really just allows us to, to almost learn about where you're from, what we can't get here, and be a part of your journey as well. So, if you stayed with us this long, we wanted to make sure that we also let you know that this is likely our last Spirit Review. So we wanted to make it a special one. And the reason for the change is we are going to focus more on our automotive projects and passions and helping people and educating people with some of those areas. Helps us continue to grow our audience. Helps not confuse YouTube and the algorithm <laughs> so much of trying to decide what we are as a channel. But when we do travel and we come across something special that has not been shared online quite yet, we will likely do some special episodes to share some of that, uh, like we did from Ireland and mm -hmm. some, of, some of our spirits that we brought back there. And in the meantime, if you're interested in any of the spirits that we are going to be opening and drinking, a lot of these behind us are still unopened. Yeah why don't you head over to Facebook and follow us there? We'll be posting up pictures with reviews, letting you know what our favorite flavors are. Yeah, because clearly we have a lot to go through <laughs> still. You're welcome. <laughs> but until then, we certainly appreciate you being a part of our journey. And until next episode, we hope you take care, stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.